Good morning. How are you feeling? Better. Better. I'm about 50% compared to nearly dead yesterday. And how good is this balcony in winter? Oh, the sun's beautiful. So I love it. Winter sunshine? That's north. But then in summer, this is all in the shade. In the shade and so we, uh, it's the perfect balcony. So I'm heading out for, oh, well, see, I'm in the shade and you're in the sun. I'm heading out for a ride now. <laughs> I'm push you out. Uh, an hour and a half. Super easy, small chain ring, just uh, spinning the legs through before the race tomorrow. So, and I'm going to sit on the couch. Perfect. Another good day. And then we have to pack tonight because we're off tomorrow to Cairns. And you know, it was only a week ago, this time last week, you were running your 50Ks. Oh, don't, me, <laughs> don't bring that back up. <laughs> PTSD. <laughs> <laughs> Like I said, today's ride's an easy spin, but I'm not much of a spinner. I uh, tend to choose a heavier gear and then go hard. So I keep trying to, uh, thinking I'm gonna change gears and go into the big chain ring. And then I have my coach in my ear going, no, easy spin. I don't always wear a high-vis vest, but when I do, it's one that's like five sizes too large because this was the smallest I could buy. So I need to wear a high-vis vest in my trail run tomorrow uh, because the second half of it is actually on road. So, and we cross a lot of main roads and I think that's probably the reason why we need to wear it. But anyway, high-vis is the way to go. Um, I actually have to get to all my other mandatory gear ready. So, it's pretty much the same as what Tim had last week. So we've still got this little packet that's got the um, space blanket, some band-aids, whistle and compression bandages. Um, I'm going to be wearing a light. It starts in the dark. So I've got my light ready. Um, and then just on my pack, I'll just pack two of these. So these will have my infinite in them. So it's going to take me two hours. So I'll probably have an hour's worth in each one of those. And then I've got my water as well, which I'll carry. So getting all that ready. And the most important thing I still need to do is work out what outfit I'm wearing. So um, it has to go with orange. I don't think I've got anything that goes with orange, but anyway, I will find something to wear. All right, let me show you a bit more of this pod. And it's actually quite spacious, so I just bought some of this non-slip stuff. Just keeps everything a little sturdier. So, so I bought this new fancy park work stand for the bikes. But this can go up in the pod. I'm going to wrap up in this towel, just so it don't get damaged. And these poles, I'm going to take four of these because we have this problem that when we are somewhere for more than one night and we've got the awning out, we've got to roll the awning back in to go anywhere in the car. I'm going to take these poles and some of these tarps. I'm just going to put a tarp up. So what I'm hoping is these poles will fit in here. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Excellent. Extra ropes and see you got the extra pegs down here. So I can tie it down. Ah, oh, that's great. Alright. So I'll put the work stand in here also. So that's the clamp head. And that fits super easy. So I've got all the little places that everything goes. The bucket just goes there. 
so shut. Yep, no problems. So other things I put in the storage pod, our cycling shoes. Just makes less mess in the van if we put all this up there. There's Amanda's shoes, our helmets, and the track pump. And then the other thing I put in here is all of our shoes. We've got our running shoes. We tend to carry road running shoes and our trail running shoes each, so they'll go up in here. And it's just all the stuff that we don't use every day. And then it all just locks down, and that's it. And my idea is, if I move this rack forward, move this pod all the way forward, might be able to get a second pod up here. So two pods on the roof. That's a long-term plan. I probably have to get another roof rack, but I reckon two will fit. All right, so here's all the octopus straps, or oki straps, we call them in Australia. I think bungee cords, they're known as everywhere else. So they were drenched after our last camping expedition, as you all saw. So I just dried them in the shed. But in this bag, which lives under the driver's seat, is where all this stuff goes. So easy access. I use this to tie the tarps down and various different things. So that just rolls up into that. That goes under there. So our packing needs to be pretty methodical because this is all we get. Just one tub and we're away for two weeks and we have a race in there. And so we need to think about what we're actually going to pack. And then I separate all my stuff into these bag so once we put our stuff in this tub then it's a little bit easier to find so having being in a small space you really need to make it really organized <laughs> 